Hey everyone, me again. I want to show you a few tips and tricks about how to assign resources in Microsoft Project. Well, first thing you need to do is go to the view ribbon and into the resource sheet and build out your resource pool. Now, if you're using Microsoft Project Online, you could pull these resources from an enterprise resource pool. Um, but I'm not actually going to be doing that. I'm going to be using just Microsoft Project standalone. So to do that, I'm going to come in here and start typing the names of the resources that I want for my project. You can see I've already started to do that. I can add a couple more in here. I'm going to add Mary Jones. And you can see when you first create them, work resource by default. I've got other videos on, on this, but uh, you know, we can create material resources, cost resources, work resources. Um, we can also give them a standard rate. 75 bucks an hour and we're good to go so build out your resource pool that's the first thing once you've got that you want to have a good variation of work resources cost resources and maybe some material resources i'm going to need some concrete on my project I'm going to do a material label here and you'll notice that i can specify how much i charge i'm going to say I will charge $50 per let's say uh, truck right so a truck of concrete right fill that up in fact that's that's a bit generous make it 500 so every time we have a truck it costs us $500 all right so without drilling into that too much I want to now come back and start assigning my resources easiest way to do that here is just come in click on the drop down select who you want here we go I could put uh, who is it we just created Mary Jones click here and there we go she's assigned oh you can see that she's actually that's been assigned to a milestone definitely not what I wanted and if you look at my previous video it will tell you how to get that my tips and tricks in Microsoft project I'll put that up on the screen at the end so you can take a look at that um, but yeah let's, let's come out of this one and we're going to remove Mary like so and again I'm going to come in here and put Mary on the dig foundations there we go you see she's assigned but she's actually going to be assigned full time to work on that project and you see down the bottom here I have this little kind of widget it's called the task form it allows me to see all the different variables that I've set so we can always see that I already had a duration set for this task units work if I want to adjust this I can say well I only wanted to work part-time 50% units there we go we can see she's now 50% working on that what it actually did is push out the duration it used to be two weeks she's only working 20 hours a week now as opposed to 40 so it adjusted the duration for me based on the units this is a, a great way to come in and quickly assign resources as well. I can do more. Let's put Krista on there. Let's also uh, add myself, Tom Henry, and press OK. And they're all assigned as well. I can adjust the units up or down using this task form. Now for this project, I'm actually coming in here and I just want to get real quick and dirty and assign to a selection of tasks myself, Tom Henry. I'm going to come in, click on the task here. Hold down the control key and I'm going to select a selection of other tasks. Ooh, not that one. There we go. So I've selected a few others now. I'm going to come to the resource ribbon and click assign resources. This is the bring up the assign resources dialog, which will allow me to assign resources to the task that I selected all in one go. For this time, I'm going to put Tommy on there. And you can see he's been assigned to all of those. And you see I actually made a mistake and did actually assign Tommy there. I can use this same dialog to remove him. So another nice thing about the assign resources, I can come in and let's try that again for these tasks here. I'm going to assign Krista and Tommy at the same time. Boom. I can adjust the units up or down here as well if I wanted. Maybe Krista's working part time. And there we go quick and easy so that's how you can assign resources first way just using the resource names drop down second way using that task form you can get that at any point 
coming in the view ribbon, clicking details, and by default you should see task form. If it's not, click on the drop down and select task form. If this form doesn't look quite like this, you can right click and the one I'm using, and it's actually the default is the resources and predecessors, but there are other views that you can have in this split view as well. That's another quick tip there. But I like the resources and predecessors just because that's the default, but there are many others. You can see the predecessors to that task here. You can get full access to the assignment planning variables, the duration, the units, and how many hours of work, whether that task is effort driven, or essentially it locks the work for that task. And you can adjust the task type. That's a whole other topic there. But uh, that's another way. Once you finish that, just drag it down. If you want to bring it back, drag it up like so. And you can also access that from the view ribbon. The last way I showed you was the assign resources dialog. I really like this. I can click assign resources. I can assign multiple tasks, uh, multiple resources to multiple tasks, or multiple resources to a single task or one resource or multiple resources to a single or selection of tasks. <laughs> Lots of options there and you can get a little bit granular there. Not as granular as the task form but pretty granular. So those are three methods that I like to use. There's no right way to do it. It's whatever works for you for whatever you're trying to achieve. Now you can see that I have got some significant overallocation here because I haven't really been looking at that when assigning resources. But when you do that, using the task form, you can definitely get into that and start figuring out are you over allocating and make your allocations realistic. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we will see you very soon.